G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. And I'm out on the Bilbon track again. I'm actually at the White Horse Hill Shelter. And tonight's dinner is the Happy Camper Gourmet Real Meal, Real Easy, Real Food Real Easy Moroccan Tagine. Now this is not a freeze dried one, as you've probably seen with the other Happy Campy Happy Camper Gourmet meals I've done reviews of. They're ready-made meals that you just pour in and warm up. But there's different ways they've got written on the back here, if you haven't seen any of my videos, uh, is you can cook them in, in a microwave, a stove top, or in the oven. Shake the pouch and throw in a pot of hot water. But I'm going to do it in my toke's pot on that. So let's go get my pot. Okay, I'm back. Got the pot. So I'm just gonna just cook it in my normal 750 mil tokes titanium pot. So you can see it's been well used on coal fires, uh, used on Esbit cube stoves, the liquid fuel, so all the different types of stoves I've used that on. It's still going great. So give you a little bit of a breakdown then. Calories and energy, right. And it's uh, 813. Uh, that's kilojoules, so the calories is 195. Protein, 8.7. Total fat, 2.4. Carbs, 30.6. Dietary fiber, 9.3. Sodium, shitloads. So, yeah, potassium 543. Yeah. Alright. Let's get it open and put it in the pot. Now, if you're looking at doing an end to end or through hike and carry food all at the same time, this is not the one to take because. The actual net weight of the food is 300 grams. So you're probably better off with the freeze dried or the homemade dehydrated. But if you don't mind the weight, these are bloody nice. Get my little stove going. <clears throat> now, if you look down my list, I've got, I think I've done number three or four of these. Uh, the meatballs at the moment is my favourite one. They do a spaghetti. Uh, no, that was the other one I did. They do a cattleman's beef stew. They do a chicken casserole. And then there's one more I've done. And to be honest, I've enjoyed every single one so far. Oh, I have to walk in 10 miles to the bush today. I think really anything will taste nice. But Let's give this one a go. Oh. Hmm. Uh, ingredients, where are we? Tomatoes, chickpeas. Oh, we got uh, may contain gluten, soy, and lupin. We've got water, carrots, eggplant, capsicum, onion. Tomato paste, cornstarch, spinach, herb and spices, ginger, salt, garlic, sugar, vegetable, gum, uh, 415, natural colours 100 and 160, and spice extracts. So that's a complete rundown. That's bubbling a bit more, let's give it a stir so I don't burn it. It is sticking. Turn that down. We don't want it to heat up on the outside and be cold on the inside, do we? Mm. 
I have some more freeze dried reviews I'm going to be doing over the next two or three months. No, no, I'll probably get some of them done for next month or in a few, couple of weeks. Whenever I get the chance, put it that way. But I need to get some up soon so people start going out hiking. They've just got an idea. The only meals I do, the only reviews I do, this is all my personal opinion. I'm not taking any advice from anyone else. I don't listen to anybody else about doing any reviews because all my reviews I want to be honest. I don't get paid for doing any of these reviews. And even if I was, if it wasn't nice, I'd tell you it's a load of rubbish. Maybe one day I'll have enough subscribers where some companies want to send me stuff. If you're listening, I'm open. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Now the actual little stove I'm using, which is quite good for regulating the heat. It's a little cheap one, it's 20 odd Australian dollars. And it's a little titanium one. And it's a BRS. And I've been using this particular one now for two or three years. And mine hasn't broke. When I originally bought it, I can't remember if I bought two or I think I bought three of them. Because I heard, oh, they're not that good, they break, they warp, they do this, they do that. I'm still on the first one. So, and I've had no trouble with it. I think I let it get too hot once and one of the uh, arms twisted slightly and that was it. Uh, turned it down and it just went back. Get in there. You can taste the different spices in it. I'll be honest, I'm not a vegetarian. But looking at this, it is a vegetarian one. So, if I say it's good, believe me. It must be good. Now, I bought this because they got a uh, long li uh, shelf life. This one. It is where is it on this one? I can't find it. Uh, yeah, it can be stored at room temperature for up to two years. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, Australia Party Limited, based in Victoria, Australia. Their email, well, let's give this a stir. Their email is sales at happycampergourmet.com and the happy camper gourmet is all one word in lowercase. So it's sales in lowercase at happycampergourmet all in lowercase.com. Now I actually bought this from Survival Supplies Australia where most of you probably know if you follow my channel already, they're local to me. They give good service. And the price is pretty damn good. And no, they don't give me anything free to review. They don't pay me any money. So I'll be straight with you. They've got an online um, shop. You can order and have it delivered for orders over 75 Australian dollars. So for free. Double check, I might be wrong. But I think it's $75 anywhere in Australia for free. They will deliver to the rest of the world, but you will get your import taxes put on top of whatever the cost is. But they will look after you and they'll do the right thing. And they won't just sell you something just for the sheer hell of it. So let's get down to this. Steaming nice and hot. Here we go. Very hot, too hot. 
give it a bit of stir, cool it down. Oh, the chickpeas here, it's a bit tomato there, some don't know if there's an onion or what. The chickpeas are not hard, but they're not soft, they've got a, a bit of a bite to them. So they're just nice. I can see some the spice looks like chili seeds. Flavour wise, it is nice and like I said. Normally I don't like vegetarian food, but this one I will eat again. Spices, let's see if we can pick up any more of the spices. Now I'm used to spicy food, so this, yeah, see if I can pick it up. I, I can taste the spices. There's no burn or... I bet you get with the hot chilies. There's none of that. The flavour. I'm actually enjoying the flavour. I'll give you a... Let's see if you can see it better. So there's some, see all the chickpeas in there. It's not just a few chickpeas and a little bit of sauce. There's plenty, plenty in it. question is, would I personally recommend this? I'd say, it's difficult to say would I recommend it to people. If I was going to recommend it to me, the answer is, yeah, I would recommend it to me because I will have it again because it is really nice. Not as good as the, uh, the meatballs, to be honest. Not for me anyway. But it is, it is really nice and like I said, it's up. Uh, up to a two year shelf life so if you're going out in a caravan or the camper or car camping something like this will be ideal just to throw in a pot of hot water or heat it up like I have and get stuck into it no need to go rushing around the shops picking all the different ingredients up and you've got a pretty nice meal here and if you wanted to you could cook up some rice and throw the rice in it and make even bigger serving Hmm. Yeah, I'll be having this again. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen and you've enjoyed, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos coming out. And click that like button. And if you didn't like it, click the thumbs down button twice. And to all my subscribers, or who are my subscribers already, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care. And I'm going to finish eating this.